I was supposed to share this video last year on December, but I don't know what happened. Conf I was confused, I was distracted for a long time and so it took four months, four months to finally make this video. Um, I don't know what happened. Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. I'm Shubha Shizat and welcome you to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to share a story with you which is like really very important for me and uh, for a long time I wanted to share it with you but uh, yeah, I couldn't um, so last year on September my photo got sold online for the very first time in my life and it was unbelievable for me now um, the platform where the photo got sold is I am now I don't know if you know about I am it's a uh, online uh, you guys know about 500 px right i am is a similar kind of uh, platform where uh, you can upload your pictures and it has a very active marketplace and i have been on i am since 2014 when i got my first uh, smartphone and uh, since then till now i have been uploading pictures uh, whenever i can and uh, initially i was uh, i was not even sure that uh, whether you know my hard work will ever get noticed on this platform because I thought that you know it happens that these marketplaces are not always active on all the countries right so I thought uh, it might be the same for India um, but you know um, well my photo got sold for five point fifteen dollars and uh, it was a, it was a huge thing for me you know even if it was for two dollars also I would have been same excited I remember that day I was having my dinner and uh, suddenly I got notification from IM. Now, when you upload a, a, your picture on these platforms, you get lots of notifications like your pictures got accepted, uh, somebody liked on your picture, somebody commented on your picture and I thought that uh, it might be a similar kind of notification but then I saw that this email came and I was like, hold on, what the f now I have two accounts on IM. Okay, one which I initially opened on back on 2014, and then few years later I forgot the password somehow, and I opened another one. I lost track of all that, uh, all the you know progress that I made on the on that uh, account, on that profile, and. Uh, so yeah, I had two accounts. This this uh, previous account was completely ignored, and I was working on this new uh, account, loading all my stock photography kind of pictures on that. But interestingly, the picture that got sold, it belonged to my previous account, which I had no track of um, and during that time. And uh, uh, that picture that got sold, it was taken on 2015, taken and uploaded that year. Um, with my that first smartphone and um, it has been uh, there since then now uh, look at this I bought my first smartphone on 2014 I opened I, I for the first time I got exposed to this online uh, photo selling websites and platforms and I hit on all of them to see if any one of them works for me I have been uploading content on this platform since 2014 and it took me six years to finally get one of my pictures get sale how big is that it's 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 huge for me as I just said before it's like huge for me now if you don't know about I am it's a company based in Berlin Germany which is a great platform for uh, you know photographers uh, it, it has a very active community of photographers all around the world and also a very active marketplace now and uh, it's a place where you not only upload photos and wait to get them recognized but it's a great area to actually gain knowledge about uh, this uh, art you know they share a lot of interviews trending photography ideas uh, they host um, uh, different competitions and I forgot to mention and uh, they have a different kind of exciting prizes for that and I have I have uh, jo I, I join a uh, lot and lots of uh, competition on this platform never worked for me but uh, who knows maybe it might work for you so just try this platform I, I found this platform you know very uh, you know very interesting because the knowledge I got from it it inspired me a lot when I was a novice 
I was consistent and finally my dedication and faith paid off. Now there are many other uh, stock photography websites as well like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Dreamstime and uh, I, I upload photos on all of them but recently I discontinued with Dreamstime because I found its interface uh, not that smooth and it's really very time consuming if you were uploading it from a PC or your laptop. Um, I just didn't like how the you know how uh, the process of uploading pictures so I just kept Dreamstime out of my list. But you know, uh, Shared Stock and Adobe Stock, absolutely excellent platform to share your stock photo photographs. Now, uh, if you want to try your hands on stock photography, there are certain things that you need to follow. Like you cannot upload um, any recognizable property or person in your pictures, uh, any recognizable brands or any branding of that sort. Uh, if you are uploading any faces or uh, property, then you need their property releases. Uh, for, you, for your pictures to get accepted by that uh, website, by the community. Now I know these this, uh, things might uh, sound a little complex because it did for me initially but uh, you know once you get hold of it and uh, you um, get the notifications of rejection in your initial stages you will understand the process. But uh, yeah it's a very exciting and uh, you know you, you should always keep on trying new stuff. So. You know, I think it's great if you want to try your hands in stock photography and uh, earn some good money. The money that you will get uh, through your photos, um, they are subjective, you know, they depends on a lot of things like the brand that is purchasing your photograph or the, the company or uh, the person that is buying your photo photograph and then your picture gets sold and you know the amount that are that that is priced at it gets distributed you get some commission the com the website is getting some commission uh, it's uh, it works like that so but yeah i think it's a very good thing to you know try uh, to start selling your photographs if if you are interested in photography because you know doing something you love and earning from it is all that we dream for right and i think if you if you can uh, sell your pictures online then it will also boost your confidence to you know actually uh, become a freelancer in the future or maybe start your own photography business um, i think it's a very good starting point if you you know want to achieve something doing what you love uh, in the in this uh, you know in the area of photography the platform that i just talked about i am it's also uh, have a uh, a, a special place for videography for stock footages you can also do that if you're interested in uh, videography it's a it's a good thing altogether now with that being said we are at the end of this video and i'm really glad that i could share my story with you guys and uh, you guys uh, actually listened and um, you know at the end of the day it's all about trying something new so i believe in this principle so much and uh, you know, you can also try with it. You know, if it can work for me, it will definitely work for you. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this video. And uh, if this video holds any value to you, then uh, please let me know down your thoughts in the comment section. Leave a like, share with your friends, and please do subscribe to my channel because it always means a world to me. And I'll be meeting you guys on my next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye.